Hey guys, welcome to the 40th run of the Rohini 5 mile. Travelled out on the dark today, it was a nice experience, good buzz around with all the runners. Had a bit of a feel of a mini DCM about it. A bit of a breeze, but... A bit of a breeze, yeah. There should be some shelter on the way back. Yeah, so. a big crowd in it, so you might get a bit of... Some get into a group of yeah, yeah, oh, Let's look Shamrock's it. giving us a, a bit of a pre-race about the weather conditions. So we pulled into Rohini dark station you can see here on uh, the bottom right the actual start of the race we have people which um who need guidance and what have you it's great to see a club like rohini being so inclusive where you have the people leaving the dark station with a nice atmosphere there then we had the masses as you can see here led out by ryan creech from evale ac great to see all saints road with less cars parked on it this year it gives the runners a really good avenue to get going in the race this is only about 400 meters in you can see they're all moving at a very hectic pace and the more room there is on the road the safer it is and the more comfortable the runners are you can hear that breeze in the background that chris was talking about there was a noticeable, noticeable breeze there today the runners would have had to battle at stages during the race I hope you're enjoying this coverage of the race guys it'd be great if you could like share and subscribe by subscribing to the channel you're showing me you're enjoying what you're seeing so thanks very much in fairness to ryan he was able to negotiate everything that was thrown at him today just over a mile in here now you can see the gap he's built up over the chasing pack is quite considerable after one mile and he continued to pile it on and pull away from his competitors. It was at this stage of the race where we first got to see how the ladies race was panning out as the field started to thin out. Shona Hesop of Henriac who has represented Ireland several times took the race by storm from the very start. You can see here same thing as Ryan Pushed through, pushed on, big gap there early on. Yeah, Katrina Mullen from Metro St. Bridget's and Nikita Burke from Letter Kenny AC, but in fairness to Shauna, she looked like she was cruising at this stage. Great to see all the club vests from all over the country. People travel from near and far to run the Rahini 5. Only ever ran it myself once and really enjoyed it. The start is a bit manic, but other than that, it's a great course, a great event. Over 5,000 entries this year with a record number. Rahini put on an absolutely fantastic race and, and fair play to them. If you see yourself in the video here today, guys, it'd be great if you gave the video a like, a thumbs up. Cheers, guys.
Come on! Go up, go on, Nicky! Okay, come on. Do we have to run very fast? Down into St. Anne's Park near the four mile mark. You see here Ryan cruising along, no one near him, no one challenging him, nobody really putting any pressure on him. You can see how far he is here of the competitors. You know, the guys going for second and third and the minor positions, they were still in a in a group here coming up to the four mile mark. And they hit the top of the avenue, they do uh, a 180 turn. And it, it'll be interesting to see now when they come back down, it split. So the race really started when they when they were heading for the exit of the park. You see Shauna here, the former Irish dancer. She's pinging along, only touching the road in spots as she piles it on. Next in the ladies was Nikita Brock down from letter Kenny AC. But, uh, it was an interesting battle going on between Katrina Mullen from Metro St. Bridget's and Cheryl Nolan from St. Abbans for the third place position. Here we see Ryan again cruising. Uh, coming up to maybe maybe a K to go here. As you can see here, the men's had really hotted up with David Scannon from Rathbarn and WSAF making the break, continuing on to take second place. John Paul Williamson and Jamie Fallon from Crockwell AC battling it out for third place with John Paul taking the honours. Same thing again guys, if you're enjoying the coverage here on the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like, share and subscribe. Like I said, subscribing shows me that you're really enjoying the content and encourages me to keep doing what I'm doing. Thanks guys. Let's go Pierce. well Pierce, let's go. Come on, my hug. Here you have Shona now as she glides through the last part of St. Anne's Park before exiting to head for the finish. Absolutely imperious. Come on, Carl. Thank you. Then you had Nikita you. working her way through the crowds to claim second place. Well done. Chasing hard then we had Cheryl Nolan from St. Albans. Came through strongly to take third place. Well done. And then we had Katrina Mullen from Metro St. Bridget's in fourth. Well, Porrick. Well 
you go guys uh, we're going to follow through here up until about people who finished in around 40 minute mark like i said if you see yourself here today in the video please give it a like thanks very much like i said if you're enjoying the content on the channel and you want to see more and you want to keep me well, John. motivated like share and most importantly on, subscribe thanks very much guys hope you enjoyed it see you at the next one hello michael Oh, David. Hello, my lord. Oh, Rory. Look, you're on. Oh, Davy. Stop, Tim, nearly there. Keep it going, well done. Let's go, Eddie. Let's go, Aoife. Hello, Sarah.
Oh, Phelan. Trying. Thank you. Well done. Well done, everyone. Come on, James. Oh, Mom! Go, oh, Nikki! Come on, Sierra! Come on, dear She's on you! Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, Tony. Neymar.